Thank you for joining Paper Crafting with Tracy. Today I'm going to show you how to do a one sheet wonder uh, using the Translucent Florals stamp set. So I've played around with this. Um, we went to a team meeting and this is what we had made uh, using the inspirational sketches and it I know it looks really busy but taking cutting one out this is what we got so it was just putting all kinds of stamps all over this so I wanted to do a little bit of a different take on that and I started with the daisy stamp set and I got these four cards out of it okay and these all come together um, you can kind of match them up a little bit and it would have been something along the lines of of like that okay so that was one then I just took some other stamp sets that I thought okay what could I do with this so these were four more that I did and then just recently using the lighting the way I did a class on doing this one okay so lots of variations so this time I'm going to do it with the translucent florals so what you do is you start with a just a eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. And I'll just move this out of the way. <clears throat> and I'll make sure that's in my view there. And all you're going to do is think about how you want to situate it on the paper, so that I'm going to cut it into four um, card fronts. So what I'm going to start with is taking some of um, the leaves here and I'm using granny apple green so I'll just ink it up and what I like about this stamp set is it just the outer edges are what's dark okay so I'm gonna maybe do something like that I will and thinking about this is gonna get cut up And because I know it's going to get cut, I'm not going to go too close to the edge because I'm going to have to cut this down to, to fit on my card. Okay, I'm not too worried that that one didn't come all the way through. Because I'm going to be, you'll see, this just builds. So I'm going to also use some berry burst with the flowers. And we'll just start putting them in, in places. This is a really fast way of making... Um, multiple cards. Uh, let's go. Maybe something. I'm just going to get a piece of card under here or paper under here just so that I don't uh, get it all over my, my card. I keep a lot of scrap backings. You can see where I've done this before. So I want one kind of up here. And obviously I missed a little bit of that, but that's okay. Most of that's going to get cut off. Uh, and I'm okay with it layering. And I'll probably do one up here in the top. And I can come back and do this. So I'm also using Melon Mambo with this other flower to uh, just add some other color in here. I love the contrast between the Berry Burst and the Melon Mambo. It's just gorgeous. And the other thing you want to think about is where your sentiment is going to be. Now, some of this is going to get cut, and you can adjust things as you go along. So it's it's kind of a forgiving um, way of doing things. Probably stick one in there. And then 
Uh, in case you haven't seen some of the new in colors, we have Petunia Pop. And that seems to go along with this. And I'm going to put in some smaller leaves in here just to fill in some of these blanks. Spots here. So you can start to see how forgiving this is. And I know it looks chaotic at the moment, but you'll see once we get going here, it all comes together. Uh, maybe another one there. Okay, and we'll use some of this new petunia pop in here. And I'm just going to put... Oh, now that just kind of bridges the color between them all, doesn't it? I'll just add some in there. Oops. Uh, where else do I want to go? Maybe in here. Okay. I think I'll stop at that right now. I mean, I could keep going, um, but you'll get the idea. Okay, so now what you're going to do is get your cutter out. And what I tend to do is I just cut it straight in half first. So that'll be your five and a half. And then four and a quarter. And you can see how that's already starting to give you an idea how this is going to work. And however you want it to, to be. Now I'm going to have to cut it down a tiny bit more. So I just kind of have a look at this and see, okay, where am, where am I wanting to trim a little bit? Because I want to get it down to three and three quarters um, by five. And I think maybe this. There we go. And I might add an extra um, little bit of uh, color there. And this one here. Oh, let's see. How much is that going to come off? Because don't forget, you'll also be putting sentiments on there. I only want to take a little bit of this side off so then I will trim the rest off down to three and three quarters on that side and you can see that didn't show up too much and we'll cut it down to five here And the final one. Okay. So we'll get our trimmer out of the way. <clears throat> so we'll just get these kind of lined up. I might just use a little bit of uh, Melon Mambo, maybe. Um, where's... No, I think Petunia Pop I'll put on the, the end there just to fill that in a tiny bit. I'll just add a little bit there. So that filled that in. I'm happy with those. And that one. Actually, I'm 
I'm happy. Maybe I'll put uh, uh, an extra Melon Mambo in that one. Right in here. And then an extra leaf. There we go. There, I'm happy with all that. So now we're just going to just make sure I got things out of the way. I've got some um, Berry Burst cardstock here that I will adhere them all to. So we'll just get my tape runner here. Oh, before I do that, sorry, we need to put a sentiment on. So I will just use a variety of these so that I've got uh, sentiments for all or uh, cards for all occasions and I'm probably going to use the berry burst uh, just to make it pop okay, this one has got a bigger area so we'll just make sure I'm straight here there we go so there's that sentiment actually there's four sentiments in this so that's perfect I will use congratulations for another one. Let's see. Maybe this one. Oops, didn't quite fully ink that. Make sure everything's lined up. Happy birthday. And finally, you're the best. And if you have um, embellishments and stuff, you can add all that. Uh, it uh, You can make it as fancy as you want uh, or as simple. This was just a quick way of doing, uh, adding to your, your cards. Makes a great gift pack too. If you were doing up a little card gift back for somebody. You could do like a matching box that goes with whatever your color theme is. So starting next week, we will be having our retiring um, product list coming out. And uh, because we're getting ready for the new catalog to come out at the beginning of May. And like I said, the Petunia Pop is one of the new colors. For those of you that are familiar with Stampin' Up! and have been doing it for a while, I'm happy to see that Pretty in Pink is coming back. And then we have some more exciting in colors coming too. Uh, something called um, uh, Summer Splash, which is a almost like a turquoisey color. Uh, Shy Shamrock and Peach Pie. So you'll start seeing more and more of stuff with that. Okay, but um, there's a last chance product list coming out uh, as of. April 2nd so if you click on the link to my website you can purchase things at a discount before they're gone because once they're gone they're gone and I'm just going to use um, white cardstock just basic thick cardstock <clears throat> sorry I'm getting over a cold which is why I couldn't uh, do a proper video last week. Come back into the view here. Sorry about that. And then uh, the week before I was at On Stage, which is our annual convention for demonstrators learning about all the new and exciting products that are coming out and that sort of thing.
And I'm happy to say this translucent floral stamp set is carrying through. So it will be available in the new catalog as well. And the last one. Now you've seen me use the brass butterflies before. If you've seen some of my other videos, these would be wonderful to add to this, this cart. Um, having butterflies in the, in with the flowers. There we go. So four cards made quickly doing what's called the one sheet wonder. So I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Paper Crafting with Tracy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and happy stamping.